Steve here, Shinlanko Productions. I just got this uh, Iwata uh, cleaning station. I'm going to show you that, but I'm also going to show you how I clean my airbrush and how I make my home brew of uh, paint uh, cleaner for acrylics and uh, paint thinner out of the products here. So let me uh, get to unboxing this here. Okay, this is a glass jar. It has a seal and a uh, like a filter here, and uh, comes with two extra filters, airbrush holder, and this goes on the bottom so it don't tip. You gotta put that in like that, and this like this. Just like that. Let me check if my airbrush uh, fits in there. This is a Badger Crescendo 175. I guess it works. The reason I got this one here is because I have this Aztec version of a, the same cleaning station kind of it works the same but there's no holder for your brush so that's why I went with the new one let me see if it holds my Eclipse brush here nice perfect for this brush anyway I'm going to uh, show you how I mix this uh, thinner and airbrush cleaner for the acrylic paints, the water based type paints. Like I use uh, Parma and that testers, mostly the testers, uh, model master for stuff. Anyway, you got to use uh, glass plus, it has no ammonia in it. And uh, for the cleaner, I put 70% uh, of the water. I use this water here, distilled water, and everything. Like 70% I use the uh, water, and I put like probably 20% uh, 20, 20 alcohol and like 10% uh, the glass plus in here for the. Uh, airbrush cleaner and then for the thinner the thinner I use like 40% of the uh, glass plus cleaner with the rest water like uh, 60% so you could do it 50 50 also works good but that's what I do and I use the alcohol in it and the distilled water with all my concoctions and it works great and get that out of the way and I'll mix up some paint and show you how this thing here works before I mix up some paint here and show you how this works uh, this just don't work with my uh, whoa, badger brush when you have this on or any connection on it gets in the way but it does work with the Awada brush so I guess it's meant for that one that's, what it, that's who makes it but I guess other airbrushes will work. This one just don't work because it's a bottom feed. Anyhow, here's what I'm going to do. Before I use this, I'm just going to spray a little bit of the paint uh, thinner in there. Just to get it wet inside. So the paint don't stick. First got to take this beauty off. I can't use this. gonna just mix some uh, of this model master acrylic just gonna put a few drops in here let me take this out much easier there now you can see 
gonna put a few drops in it to show you Now I'm just going to put a few drops of the paint thinner I showed you how I make. And mix it up like that. That's it. Works like a beauty. Now to clean this out, I just put the airbrush cleaner I made. I squirt it in the cup. Stick it in there. You can put the pressure on like 50 psi when you do this. Just do this a couple times with a little bit in it. traps everything in there I ain't gonna go nuts you you gotta do it a few times and clean out the cup and also when you have it in there you could hold the tip and bubble it in the cup to make it clear out and then also a trick I learned to do is I like putting some in there and I pull the napkin by it and you spray it close and what that does it gets all the paint off the tip area over there but anyway, that's what you do. This works pretty nice. And my homemade concoctions work great. And it'll save you a lot of money because they uh, cost a lot cheaper. These bottles now are like $8.99 each. But you can make a lot more with what I showed you. And also another thing I use is this Model Master for acrylic. It takes off dried paint. So once in a while I'll, I'll put that in my airbrush and spray that through to make sure I get it all super clean. And then I re-clear it out with the airbrush cleaner again afterwards to get everything out. And that's it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Shenlanko out. See you next time.